We're going to start by adding one cup of water to one packet of active dry yeast or fast acting dry yeast. You can use either or. Now we're just going to add a teaspoon or two teaspoons of date syrup and we're going to allow that to stand for about 30 minutes to an hour. Now once that's ready, I have my whole wheat flour here. I have one cup, one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm going to stir that together. And I have my yeast right here. It's bubbling up. I'm just going to stir it and add it to the dry mix. going to use my spatula to remove everything and I'm going to combine this together till it's fully combined and it creates a dough. Once it creates a dough I'm going to transfer it to the surface and I'm going to knead it for about five minutes till it's nice and smooth and fully incorporated. Once it's fully kneaded I'm going to allow it to proof for about an hour. So I'm going to set it in a bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to put a towel over it and set it in a warm place. I chose the oven. And you want it to proof for an hour. Once it's proofed, you remove it from the bowl and we will knead it once again. till it's nice and smooth. So this recipe is so simple. It only has about three ingredients, and it tastes so lovely and so good. Now we cut the dough in half, and this recipe only makes two bolillos. I have two ways of doing it. This is one way that I was recommended to do it this way, but I really didn't like it this way because it just it didn't shape like a bolillo, and it didn't get fluffy like I wanted it to, but... You can try it out if you want. Just follow what I'm doing right here. And that's usually how you'll shape the bolillo. But I found that it made it too thin. So in the future when I make bolillos, I probably won't do it this way. I think it's a completely useless way. Maybe it works for the other bolillos, but it definitely did not work for this whole wheat no fat bolillos but anyways i gave it an attempt we like to put things to the test here in this channel and we give certain things a try and if they don't work we move on so i think this is the better way and that's just leaving it just as is i think it makes a better bolillo so i'm just going to shape it a little bit but that's it. I want to keep the the inside of it nice and round so it can shape into a bolillo. I'm going to add a little bit of water so it doesn't dry out. These bolillo recipes do not have any oil. They don't have any fat. So water is definitely our best friend here. We're going to allow this to proof for one hour and double in size. Once it doubles in size, we bake it at 350 degrees till it's ready. And there's the bolillos. You can enjoy these bolillos however you like, like a torta or tortas ahogadas or anything that comes to mind. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and stick around for more.